Hello, my name is Amber and at the beginning of September I visited Direct Line in Leeds City Centre. Direct Line has been providing a wide range of insurance products since 1985. I'm going to interview Les and Michael to find out more about what it's like working in a contact centre. And what does your job involve? Uh, it involves speaking to customers uh, from very different backgrounds. Um, obviously we get people calling from all over the, uh, the UK. Also, you can find yourself doing some problem solving as well. If the customers have had a problem for an existing customer, we might need to look into what the problem is and obviously find the best solution for both the customer and the business. Oh, okay. And what type of hours do you work? The hours vary. Um, we are open from 8 o'clock in the morning till, eight, uh, till 9 o'clock in the evening now. The 9 to 5 doesn't suit the business because our customers are in work themselves, so we have to be in sort of out of the normal nine to five hours. The shifts themselves are obviously done very fairly, and um, so you know you might find yourself working, uh, you know, one weekend, and then you might have the next three weekends off. So it is, it is alternated throughout the teams. What qualifications or skills do you need in this job? Um, you need to have good communication skills. Uh, you need to be able to communicate to the customer, um, be fluent and obviously everything that we do is IT based so um, obviously basic computer skills um, are essential for the role. Um, you do get a lot of training um, so you will become competent on the systems by the end of your training. And what are the good things about working in a call centre? Uh, the opportunities, obviously you, you meet a lot of people in a call centre um, although there's hundreds of people that work here it does feel like a close family unit um, everybody supports each other which is fantastic um, and also this with it being a, a rather large company there's also the opportunity for progression as well so if you do get your head down and you, and you do the job role uh, efficiently then you will get noticed and, and you can progress through the company. And also on the other hand what are the challenges for working in a call centre? The challenges um, on a day to day basis if you were taking calls on the phone you can get challenging customers um, obviously, if, if a customer has been dissatisfied with maybe the level of service that they've been given, uh, this is where we obviously then need to give them a level of service above and beyond what they expect and obviously turn maybe potentially a customer complaint around uh, so that the customer goes away happy, which obviously depending on the customer isn't always easy. Um, but as I say, with experience uh, and, and guidance, you will find the skills that you need to be able to do that. Yeah. And what do you, self, what do you see yourself doing in the future? Um, well, I started off as a, um, a sales consultant. Um, I've been here about two and a half years. I now do team leading. Um, I've also led academies as well. Um, ultimately, I would like to have my own team, which is on the horizon. Um, so that is that is my next step to get my own team members. Initially, it's been online application for, for all our roles. Uh, from there, depending on the role that you're applying for, you could have a, a telephone assessment uh, prior to your face to face interview. Yeah, and what's the assessment process? What does that involve? The initial assessment online, we're looking at the type of environment you want to work in, whether it matches the environment we have. Um, the second stage of telephone assessment, we look at your skills and your attributes and see whether they match the type of roles that you're applying for, also. And obviously, then you're not watching your face to face interview. Um, what are the things that put you off um, hiring somebody? Um, people who are, uh, struggle to communicate initially. Uh, obviously, the majority of our roles are looking for good communication skills. But people who are, don't really have a, a, a direct career path want to stay within the sort of business for, for a long time. Yeah. And what advice would you give to somebody who wanted to work in a car centre? Um, if, if you like talking to people, uh, you like helping people, yeah. uh, it's an ideal job. And it is, got a, a really good chance of building a career and gaining some good experience for the later on in life. Really. Yeah, and is there any possible career opportunities to come from here? Massive, massive career opportunities. Obviously, uh, we are a large organisation uh, internationally. Uh, you can literally go anywhere. Obviously, we'd expect you to be looking at one or two years in your, in your current role, but gaining experience all the time and then, and then moving on with another company. Okay, thank you.